And they do play quite a bit. Yep. Nature of these top end NA teams. Got a lot of dates. Three BL3s in December, Mike, and not a single map victory for MIBR. Not promising, but pressure in towards ramp. This is going to be a great read. Stanislaw is able to do some damage, but no kills here. Means pressure's on to Wiz. Wiz is up for it. Too swift in, and Rush now is on the scene. It all falls to exit. This is looking like it might have been a chance at a bomb plant. Like, the door was open for MIBR. Either way. This is looking like... Oh, nice shot from exit at the very least. Oh, and then a second right. one. Hold all on right. a second. 26 seconds. He's got a chance. Oh. And he's going to get the third. Get 1v1. The Wiz was the player who was wounded as well. Wiz doesn't have armor. The Glock could be plenty to take him down and exit. Looking to complete the ace. Looking to finish the miracle round. He's going to get the bomb plant. No. Tries to force the issue here. Doesn't realize that Wiz has slipped down and it's Wiz! You know, one thing I appreciate about George is he is filthy with those SMGs. This round, maybe Stanislaw gets his try. Not so filthy. That's the Jota show. Does he expect George to be here? He does, and he's ready for it. Okay. So the right is certainly not enough to contend, and Jota finally put down. But my goodness, has he done a ton of damage outside? Really yeah. racked the setup for EG, and as time kicks off the clock, they're going to have to shift to compensate. Either of these sites could be under threat, and they've moved Walco to try and gain some control outer. As I say that, though, as he shifts in towards Secret, well, my BR is resetting for a little bit of a smoke play. Walco's getting some vision. Recognizes that it's clear. How does he want to respond to this? Because Tommy's going to be weird if he pushes up on the red box. Oh, he's got to be careful. Moving outside, he gets the best of them, and now he's able to withdraw. Does he get away? He certainly can. Stuck on an island here. Who wins this duel? BRN. Balko may be a little overcommitted into that one, but with 35 seconds now on the clock, MIBR is starting to feel the pressure of time. <sighs> MIBR, 29 seconds of Mike. They're slowly funneling back to T-Spawn, and they don't have presence in lobby yet. 21 seconds left. They're doing it to us again. They like to wait until the very last moment to go for an execute. Not all is lost time. yet, but Wiz and Rush are both here. They're going to have to commit. This might be a vent drop, actually. Smoke's over. Lots of utility. Nine seconds ago, they're going up top, and that's the wrong choice. Bomb is down. They just need to live. And Wiz. He's in towards the ramp pretty quick. That Molotov's good. That Molotov's good, but Jota oh. can't capitalize. He does ultimately get it with the flames, but that's great patience from Walco to confirm the dragon. 25 seconds again. Clock's going to be a huge pressure here for MIBR. They're rolling on in towards the site, but they have to have the Molotov. That's a big kill to find. A little awkward from George, but now, I mean, it should be all over. There's not even enough time for Exit to pull back another crazy clip. This would have to be even better than his pissed around and half a second to spare. A smoke spam. Gets him one. Make it expensive at the least. Previous one had 11 opening duels. One will get back to that because Whoa. it's gonna be a hit onto the A site. Turtle and it's time. gonna be one for the time being by MIBR. Look at this four in a row. They could get the clean round and almost do. Again, 30 seconds. They have nothing to show for it. They have blood to utility, but now they have to hit the site and whiz. Nearly gotta crack that again. Jota's gonna be looking the wrong way. He's down for it to try and get on towards the site, but if they can drop this bomb, that would be it. Walco finds another. He's pressured on, but Exit's so low that he can't sustain this duel. It's just down to one, and Henny is a goner. So again, MIBR leave themselves huh. no time. Experience. Teams go, we haven't seen anything for a minute. Let's push for some info. <laughs> Speaking of info peaks, uh, Henny, a little slow on the draw there. Wiz gets him on the peak, but BRN's worked his way all the way into heaven. BRN, a massive flank here, and now a chance to put this round away. But Rush is pushing towards the vending machines. This could be timely to have to go back for the bomb. Turtle, Turtle, he hears him running for this. Oh, he oh, could no. deny him. Turtle's going to have to come back through. This is everything. Rush can end this round. 29 seconds. They just don't have time to rush back in. Rush? The timing on it. Rush? No, he's too late. Try to play it slow. Couldn't do so. And now it's a question of taking that bomb off from the ground. A missed opportunity for Wiz. Get it on the second, but this bomb's now ticking away, and a 2v2 is a lot more viable here for MIBR. Rush wary of getting wrapped on. He's being so diligent about it, but in doing so, he doesn't play off of his teammate. They don't peek together, and now Wiz. It's disastrous. One kill found. Exit. Oh, will bring that oh, through. Oh, boy. There looks a little bit. Jota. Gonna toss that nade in. Nope, they're going to go straight back to the A-side hit. So let's see if it works this time. One Jota. for Rocco. Jota finds the space. 
Get two, Mike, and maybe third. No. Rush gets there before exit. Finds the immediate trade. The trade is good, though. The trade is good. Man, advantage for MIPR and money being what it is for EG. Gotta imagine there's a point where they back away from this. This is a really tough ask. Wiz is gonna throw the retake smoke to give himself a little bit of room to peer over. Especially since there's another smoke to pick up. It's not exactly costly. He's committing. There's the fine. There's the fine. Now an even situation. Player in hot. Player by Squeaky. And here's the jack. I think he may have spotted the vent player. I don't know. Ooh, might have gotten eyes on. Is there smoke for this defuse? There is. And it's not actually planted very well for the remaining defenders. Uh, they could just get the stick. If he kills the hot player, I think he just sticks. But Wiz, time is short. Could have just had it on the out. first. Now he's going to hold. Here comes the spray on in. I still don't know if they have it. They don't. Not at all. Diffuse right under the nose of Turtle. And he'll go down. The player's already down towards lower. They feel really confident about that lower hit if it comes through. Walko, though, loses the straight up fight on the peak in towards the squeaky players. Stan on the oh, scene Stan. from the Raptors. He's dropped, but Wiz is here in time. And now, up the vent, a quick execution, back of the head. And 1 6 rating on their new games over the last. Uh, Okay. Last month. Part of that might have been that they keep beating MIPR on. Let's see if they can get this final round. Stan can't. And here we uh, go. He was one of the big guns. He got Wiz limited in this one. Can't imagine he's going to have this kind of impact. Without the AWP, but he's got a lot of teammates. Him, and they're all set up to punish Exit here. Exit wants to fight, but he'll wisely back away. Because there were three crosshairs right around the corner. And now EG, they're going to have to break up this setup. Try and get into more positioning around the map. Mike, just a just a question for you. Actually, you said they, they keep getting MIBR on it, but they didn't play MIBR on your You're card. right. Uh, You're right. Okay. I'm sorry. I just want to clarify. Know where I'm sorry. Going with that. They it doesn't matter. MIBR okay. ever on this map. That part didn't make any sense. Rush, <laughs> two big kills, bomb drop, no time. A familiar situation for MIBR. Block is going to run out before they can take the bomb. Didn't need to swing that, but it will be okay. George played. Interesting that one of those sets of duelies is on Henny with no armor. Yeah, you usually want your, the raid boss with those duelies. He's, playing. Uh, he's up in heaven. Also a weird spot to play with duelies. But hey, if Jota acts like he's got duelies, then it's not really going to cause a problem. And he gone. Turtle activated. And now it's looking like a very clean system around Walko. Have to fall some heroics. And it quite, can't quite it, replicate. That's the thing. No, not very often. Speaking of wall smokes, they are down in numbers. All going to be on the Henny here. Got the rifle, and the smoke to try and hold him at bay. 25 seconds, we gotta go through it. He knows that. Flashbang, not gonna matter as he's just holding a line, and that's very effective for Mr. Hand 1. Turtle with the cleanup, all on to Wiz. The difference between the, um, the A1 and the Oh, crossing naked out there. There's a smoke missing from the setup. There's a smoke missing from the setup. They're trying to save money, and well, they might just be losing lives. The bomb's down secret now. You can't cross back, Rush. You can't cross back. That flashbang's not good, but fortunately the shot is missed. And another no. chance. Disaster for EG. This setup was wrong. They were missing one smoke, and they figured, ah, what's, what, what difference is it going to make? It makes a lot of difference. There's a reason the setup is what it is. There's a reason you throw all three. This is disastrous. It's like walking outside with a shirt and a jacket on and no dang pants. Feeling the breeze. You need the pants. You need the pants for polite company. <laughs> Wiz. Players at full That's HP. Right. Or near it. Definitely going to be tough on this crossfire now. Stan still resting up top. They need a quick kill. They need a quick quill. They need a quick pop. If not got it, Feral takes the first contact. Jota the next as well. The setup works as designed. 25 seconds. That Molotov a little bit late. A little bit late. Wiz will at least be able to get one, but 20 seconds. He's got to go. He's got to go. And Stan's figuring out how to try and have impact. Coming in towards mini late, he might try and allow his teammate up top. There's a world where they get a bomb plant out of this, but it's a slim one. And, well, now it's an Safe, impossibility. Yeah. Faster here. And yeah, Stan's already dropped down the vent. Doesn't have the bomb in his no back, but that is so much position gain. No one's here. They test Henny. Got some, Henny's got support though, and the op's gonna be able to reposition. The utility's not good. Jota's on the third. Ah, oh, I didn't let Stan work at all. He's just been sitting yeah, here trying to go was... for the vent rotation. That only works if you actually do succeed on your ramp take. Instead, Stan is gonna be left feeling completely useless. 
oh, geez, like uh, at least take some time. Like we criticize MIBR for going and waiting too long. In this case, EG just had retakes once they've lost the sites. And to be fair, win. you lost sites. That makes it all the better. better. Slow this down quite a bit. There are two players in the site proper. There's Henny up top and I to try to get information out. Secret's gonna feel very comfortable right into the ball top they go. Hit and commit on this one. And, well, there's some kills found. It's starting to get a little messy here. Committing in Henny from the top rope. Swings. He's got it. George up close. Two players to find. George has to do the work himself. He's got the one. He's in a player up. Ven. George brings it down to the clutch. Uh oh. Got the read. He's got the read. He's got Jota. He's got the no, bullets no. as well. George will do it. Looksy doodle. Might not get away from this one. He does. He does. BRN's posted. BRN gonna collect. He continues to do damage. He's run down here. How is he alive? But they're not able to get the kill on either Jota or BRN. And because of that, because of missing those last bullets, you're in a dire situation, EG. They're going to try and crunch up top and lose Stanislaw. I mean, they just don't have it. And there's a crossfire here, and it's all over. He's confused me. That was the first BO3 they played. But still, as a unit, they are the strongest. Well, Turtle is the stronger Turtle. <laughs> stronger reptilian here. And this one is looking like a non-starter. Goodbye, George. So long. See you later. Stan has a cheeky bit of positioning. But much like the round he got down vent, it would be a great bit of positioning if there was anything else going on. But he might be able to save an off. Oh, Stan is law. That's not where the smoke was supposed to go. Uh oh. Whoa. Ah. Uh, rock in a hard place here. Nowhere to go. No. Molotov's left for MIBR to slow down a potential push. Oh, there's that peak again. Walco's holding it, and oh. he loses it again, Mike. Henny, uh, literally a mirror image of what just happened in that previous round. Man, Henny has made a career off of fights like that. Oh, Jota gets away with one bullet of hell. Jota just limping away from these engagements, but it's enough. It's enough to still be a threat on the sites, and that's all that he needs. An extra crosshair. Someone to catch them off guard. It's going to be pressure onto A and Wiz. He's got no one to contest him coming through here in towards heaven. No one's watching. No one's watching. Oh, Wiz. Exit has now realized just in the nick of time. Here's the peek out. Exit's ready for it. Timing gets the better of EG. I don't think there was any Q in, but his spidey sense was tingling, and it all falls to rush. This is a 1v3. It would be a heck of a time for a hero play to come out here. 35 seconds. I like the idea. Blow the door off. Give Henny another fight. Up. Rush just trying to go through it. He's really shown strong here. That's a big kill. Well, BRN down. There's one. Ramp now in doubt. Pressure on Jota. Follow up perhaps. Stanislaw, he hasn't had much success here on the lurks. He's been trying to push the boundary solo in a lot of his maps. And this time, he's going to make good. And what a time to step up. This allows his teammates down lower, completely uncontested. And for that, you mean leave? Uh, it wouldn't matter. <laughs> They're not going to test it at all. They've got the safe, uh, safe for overtime. Might be our feeling the pressure here. Yeah, Stan really woke up in that round. Got the 2K. We're, we're looking to him, right? We talked about it. He's shown uh, he was very strong in that previous BO3, but okay. He's As gone. About it, he gets his head completely taken off and exits. Makes it a 5v4 in the first 30 seconds. Tried for the vent drop. Tried for the vent drop. It's nothing doing this time. Maybe trying to offset Jota's positioning. Not a bad read. Smoke's outside. They are going to be able to get down towards lower. And Tenny, actually, who's committed into the lower side. That's not a look we're used to seeing from Henny. Spam, not effective so far. Flashbang, also not effective at all. Jota will take that every day of the week. So now a double man advantage. Maybe the positioning loss, but they've got so. Which direction they want to take this? They want to get this kill on Jota, knowing that they have him isolated. And they will find it eventually, but it's, it's dragged out so much time. 18 seconds. They have to go now. There is no time for hesitation. There is no time for second guessing. They need this kill on Turtle instantly. And if this bomb goes down, oh, they don't have to ask that question. They don't have to answer it because Rush is going to be able to get a plant. So now they at least get to be able to play the post. The flashbang's on. This is to isolate the fight. The health is so low for Wiz and Rush. These bullets have to be pixel perfect. There's no margin for error. There's no room for excuses. The trade is there. And it's no good. Way. It's good. We're going oh. to overtime. There was no room for error.
somehow, some way, make that work with low HP players to boot, right? I mean, Rush was still pretty good going into the bomb site, but he took a lot of damage in his final duel. Anyway, look, we're into OT. Henny gets the opener onto Rush, and Evil Genius is still a chance to take that sought after 2 0 lead here in this B05. It, it feels like it was kind of the story for both of the teams, right? On both sides, yep. where we yep. had really compelling, convincing CT sides, and T's doing just enough on their attack, just enough to make rounds happen. That is not enough. Walco, his vision not clearing in time, did not catch the flashbang turtle that should have been a kill dead to right spot. On the fade, this turtle to figure it out first, and now another double man advantage for MIB Yar. That's starting to fall by the wayside. Stands down the vent. Yep, yep. Ah, they lose one more, but they've got this lower sight. The bomb plant's gonna come through, you would imagine. BRN trying yeah, to get there's... in to adjust that Jota quick down from Secret, but they need to plant this bomb, and Stan is taking his time with it. The more time that whittles off the clock, the more risky this becomes. Oh, jeez, they're waiting too long, Mike. Yeah, here comes Jota, takes down George, and Stan, no bomb plant. It might be our off guard. No one is here, though. Well, there's Henny, through lockers, gets Stan, Turtle drops Rush, and that's an instantaneous 5v3. George catching. Turtle knows he's under threat. He's lost eggs, he's a sight defender. His partner in crime. No support. And uh, oh, he knew he had to make a move. He knew he had to pounce out or he was just a dead man. He is a dead man, but with some added steps. Jota, speaking of added steps, steps right into another frag. So man advantage resumed. It's looking pretty decent for MIPR in this retake. This would be a huge round for EG to be able to snatch away, but it is going to need to be another example of stealing around. They really have no business in. George Solo as well. Walco might need to step up here. Might need to be that guy. George is gone. It has to be Walco. It's all Walco and Jota. Has again, one more Molotov here. That's going to be committed to the right spot. There is a flashbang for this key. That's not a good flash. Walco lives for a moment. He's down, but advantage now found. It forced the issue, and they hit a brick. That round was over. MIBR, they can never go comfortable in this, but now they're into a four on four. So forget about the time. You can forget about the clock. It's all about these kills, and that's a great shot from Turtle. He loses BRN. Pressure on exit. Bring this retake in with a sound and a fury. And IBR is trying to not change the spot. Is there? Henny's got the kill. Daniel's going to check the player behind the door. No, he doesn't. It's over. MIBR. They wow. made for over the last three. Three and oh, in fact. And there was one very one sided match in Challenger League season 43 this season, in the regular season, where it was 16 to 9 in favor of EG. The other two were close 13 to 16 and 14 to 16. BR is going to get the opening frag here on Walco. Make it a quick 5v4. And of course, that might be our no slouches on Infernal. They've just been struggling against CG as of late. That's it. Yeah. And they continue to shift. They continue to improve. This pistol round looking all right. George stuck in the bedroom, but it's Brackets control that they'll take. And no one's actually contesting this. So they get a bit of a freebie there from the balcony, though. Jota makes it anything but free. Charges a steep cost indeed. And well, he's going to be overwhelmed in towards the pit, but he's done his work. A-Site defenders have made this a little bit more viable, and now the dually strike to deny the bomb plant, and this is tough. Everybody's here, the reinforcements, the peaks, they're all well-timed. Turtle gets them. Bomb down, that's money at least. Evil geniuses like to play the mind games, of course. They like to rotate back and forth and try to convince MIBR to go for those rotations based on movement sets. And, well, nice flashbang thrown by Wiz to support BR, uh, support status, I should say, on the frag for BRN, but Exit gets the immediate trade. And now we have a 4 before even numbers. It feels like one of the big differences here uh, between last time and this time, early mm -hmm. on, still extremely early on, is you saw those moments for EG where a player would slip through, Stanislaw in this instance, get a kill, and then they followed up on the second. This time around, the, the correction of mistakes is instant. MIBR seems so dialed in, so very focused here. Yeah, and I think there were a lot of rotations that came out too early for MIBR as well, which mm. cost them, and I think they've had maybe some time to adjust to that or at least talk about it, right? Jota's going to take down Rush, trying to get into bracket. Turtle's exposed, so he will go down after the smoke fade. Still even numbers, Henny a chance to strike, and That's he is good again. The bomb has lost towards Banana, and George's life is forfeit as well. Walco, last one standing, going to try and retrieve the bomb here. 36 seconds left to make something happen. Wiz trying to make that fight completely solo. Bit of a head scratcher for me. 
This is going to be a save. The op will withdraw. They'll try and make something happen around it in the next, but... But he's not there anymore. 30 seconds into this round. We're going to get another fight here towards Brackets, but this time Turtle brings the fight to them. He gets one and he's away. Scott free. Pressure. Where's the board? George! Again! The linchpin here. The timing on that hit from George is perfection. And a smoke up to block Henny's view. That could be the deciding factor. MIBR has shown conservative save. tendencies, and they're already backing away. This is going to be EG on the board for the first time in this game. Oh, man. Finally, the weakness is showing here in their defense. Apartments left open for George twice, and twice he has punished them. This time, it leads to a round victory, and EG finally going to crack that push up mid. Then make sure you have someone watching apartments, because you don't want George to do that again, and he is going to be there again. That said, look, Stanislaw is going to get the opener here onto BRN towards top of Banana, and that will attract at least some attention into this B site, and that's when EG really flourishes on Inferno. When they get that opener, and they can start to play the mind games and create threats in the minds of MIBR that might not be there, they get scary. Yeah, it's a little tucked here. And they have gone for the gamble on the MIBR side, which means that this... Oh, no. EG. I was going to say this round is over. But no. no Instead, it's they're coming not. back towards B. They're funneling in towards the site. Having found the kill on stand, they're going to start to rotate off. But 50 seconds on the clock. There's still a lot of map to play with. It was a free A site, and they didn't realize they never went across. They never went around. Instead, they peek into an open. What a strange miss from Henny. That's a oh, sitter. He's... Peeking right into the crosshair. And a bit of a blunder. Now they're locked out. A flashbang through. Exit wants to go for this, and he will challenge. And no one's watching his way. Exit, though. It's only one. Control still here for the evil geniuses. Jota might challenge again. Falling down. Taking away now. Jota just on the other edge of this smoke. Just a few wispy particles between him and his foe. As it fades, he inches his way forward. No one's giving him an inch, though. So he's got all this space. Beckons turtle in. They'll try and play off of each other, but it's Wiz is the insurance policy. That's the true danger here. They have to deal with him. They don't have any utility to block off his vision, and the timing from the new box peak will be perfect. Jota alone spotted now. They know he's close. The swing comes in to punish yeah, with at it. At all. They've still got almost a full set on everyone. Now they come in. They smokes the flashes. They have to be careful. There's a setup here towards Arch, and he gets one. Jota tucked in. They don't clear him. He gets a 2K. Stand and walk or down, and it's falling apart for EG. Jota cleaned out at least, but yeah, this is uh, Titanic labor required of them now. Peek in the pit player punishing. Look at the damage that's been done, and they still have to contend with Henny just talk. And they're not aware. They're not aware. The kill on, but Henny there for the cleanup. BRN even in. This rotates back to A. Tossing the util in. They don't leave someone behind at B, which they usually have in the past. They try and create more utility there. And look at this. Rush and George go down immediately. Then Walco is the next victim. He does get one at least, but that's not going to be enough at all. With Westland standing off in his hands, this is a far cry at success. Is, comes out. Dead. To be fair, it doesn't seem like they should be. This is a take of the brackets. Jota burning. It's he a has to take. bail out. He's so very low, but it is the attempted late take in towards B. George gets one kill. That might sell this. 25 seconds. They cannot leave. They're just leaving George here, but on the smoke fade. And he will realize there's no one home. But that doesn't matter. They've been bamboozled for long enough. Here it goes. 15 seconds. No time to spare. The bombs drop. Someone's got to go back for it. Someone's got to go back for it. And they may not have time. There's no one left. BRN. He holds the line. Walk on. Concerned the about the time. Rush is gone. Rush is gone. Rush He's going pulls to get the, the bomb. Get anything more here? He does indeed. Exit posted. Now he needs to withdraw. He doesn't know if there's more support available here. And if he drops, that's a free sight. 30 seconds on the clock. It might be this site anyway with players through spawn. They're going to try and pressure on towards B. Having killed two towards this side. Exit has his hands full. 20 seconds. He's going to play tucked. Time is everything here in the dark corner. Do they check it or do they overlook? There's no time to spare. You can't make a blunder here. And there's the lineup. Exit's got both rushes challenging with the bomb. He can't be the one to do this. They need He's to plan it. They need to plan, and they do it just in the nick of time. Exposed towards CT as well. 
There are so many ways that could have gone wrong, John, and instead it's Turtle in a 1v3 and Wiz soon to They find. walked right into the trap most of the time. So, well, let's see if EG can batten down the hatches on their CT side and really get something done, but so far, not, not good. No, 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 no. <laughs> they aren't batting down these hatches. These hatches have been blown off the hinges. <laughs> yes. They're gone. Wiz is trying to catch it out of the air and slam it right back down, but I don't think that's going to happen, man. You need a masterful performance out of this one, and he's already been spotted. The jig is up. The information's gained. BRN's in the spawn. There is no safe haven or quarter to back out to. They'll double peek, and they will. Had at least for a moment. 45 seconds. Concern, but Stan, speaking of time, missed times that one. Gets caught with a smoke in hand, and... Well, with a further smoke in towards the library, good luck, Rush. They only need to hold up for 30 seconds, but I don't think he's going to catch. The lineup is there. The trade is better. The peak out. The timing. The bomb Whoa. now found, and that clock becomes an issue. It's right back into it. They've got double smoke potentially for Moto, but a CT smoke forward of it. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. No way. MIBR. Clock pressure. Once they get it. But Walco trying to make another cheeky play. This time it gets caught, but the bomb is dropped. Jota has to commit. Seven seconds, they know. He knows they're out. He just has to go for the fight. The clock is everything but Jota. Play. And it works well. Repeatedly and know what you want to do every side. To Wiz! Side. But Wiz, Wiz is going to get two right off the docket. Jota and Turtle go down. There we go. Shot in the arm for EG. A little bit and of light here. On the flank. No time to run out of clock if... The clock comes to you, the whiz comes to you. And now look at this, rush down mid. That's a devastating blow. BRN's so isolated here and he knows it. Honey, how does he even try and get into a position to help out his teammate, to help out his comrade? Stan's pushing in towards T-apps. You got this hold in towards mid. BRN's getting naded down low and he's eliminated. He'll take one, but his position revealed and rush able to finish. This actual take is gonna be challenging. The Molotov can pressure pit. You can maybe get one in towards graveyard. There's one into the cubby. No one's actually watching the cubby peek and it's not spreading. Rush collects one. Wiz is here to play and this lack of flashbangs is costing them. Clear vision, clear sight lines, clear punishes. Mean that Rush has walked away with three. And that's all on to exit. Might find something here, but he's hemmed in and he knows it. They know it. They even have the bomb. Flank. Well confirm things. Seven Trolling rounds. that uh, B site and everyone else stacks onto A. That's the right call again. Stan, entries here strong from Turtle. Henny is dropped and there's a little bit of a follow-up from Walco. Taking down the numbers, perhaps Turtle checked. After Walco, and they know it and out in the open. George still makes good. Does he win that fight? The difference maker again here puts it all onto exit. No support available. Is it creeping in towards the graveyard? They're at least for now going to stick around towards Moto. Wiz has a bunch of util as well. He could try and set them up into this retake. Exit might actually have the perfect position for this play. They'll assume he's either towards site or back in towards the pit. Are they ready for this graveyard play? One's watching. Does George clear it? George clears it. Good awareness, but he doesn't win the fight. And now pressure on. The kill is there just in the nick of time with the kit. I think Wiz has enough. He's good. All good. No Turns out direct democracy leads to some interesting things. Isn't that right, Bodie McBoatface? Ooh, nades over. George oh, wow. technically being credited with that kill. George and Walco combining for it, and that's the best kind of opener. The kind where you don't even have to see anybody. Walco's still waiting here. Aggressively postured towards the half wall. BRN moves a little bit. Thinking about it. Now he's got the reinforcements. More than thinking about it. They're going to go. And great flashbang thrown by George. Supports Walco for one more at least. But then Walco gets traded out. So. This, uh. are going to charge rescue two more. Sorry. This wombo combo of Walco and George is starting to heat up here once again. And that might be all right. They're kind of stuck into this. They're kind of stuck into this. They are going to stick around. They are going to continue to commit in towards this fight. But now Wiz is coming to support. So even with that Molotov in towards New Box. George can comfortably reposition. Jota, the money is once again very hairy for MIBR and he's kind of thinking about trying to back this away. Tucked in towards the logs, the push in from Stanislaw, he might just get caught. If they wait and clock him, this is devastating for MIBR. 
And George will do him the mercy. I and that's why he is just, in my opinion, one of the up-and-coming stars, if not already there, in North America. Bjorn's gonna get the opener, and he uh -oh. gets the trade. Uh-oh, this is problematic. One round going the way of MIBR. Could spell trouble for EG, given this scoreline. And Jota's got a cheeky angle when that smoke fades. If Stanislaw keeps looking, if Stanislaw keeps going, this is gonna get real weird right now. Be a very MIBR thing to put it away on the pistol round. Dan controlling this rotation of Jota comes oh, into clear Stan. bedroom. Jota knows, Jota knows. There's the kill eventually coming through. A little labored, but he still gets That's it. That's round, all that man. matters. That's the round. They've got the A site. There's money available for EG, but not enough to justify throwing these away. Rush wants to give it a look. George hasn't flinched. His bomb's going down. And that could be map point found for MIBR. That round is decided at the top of Banana, and you see the trades going the way of MIBR, of course, with two down for EG and only one loss. That's exit with everyone pincering in. Jota, BRN, and Henny getting on the action with a frag apiece. Henny can find himself another one. There it is. George peeking through for, I guess, the reason being that they still have enough money to buy in the next round, so they want to try and do some damage to the economy of MIBR. But it's not going to happen. Rush goes down. Kind of has to at this point with the bomb committing towards Banana. BRN's backing off. And okay, they're going to give the bomb to BRN. Jota goes for a piece of down to the they gun just of going out now. I, yeah, I, I just lost the contact. What? The rotation's going on here, but it's a shot down the wall. Uh, is built up, and they're out of time. MIBR cannot contest this round. They're going to back off with the two guns they've still got. A little bit of a catastrophe here. And EG closed the gap to just three. I, I was completely bamboozled. Or not bamboozled, I was flabbergasted by what was Lovely going on. crumbling for MIPR. Without a bomb plant here, this might just be an eco. The loss bonus is maximized. Probably keep it going, but the site's been lost. The bomb, though, down onto the cobblestones. It's been recovered. The plant coming through the late flower pop boost. That's punishing again. And now Jota, his focus is distracted. He knows he has to plant while the smokes are up, or he's a dead man, and they're coming through. One kill in for BRN. That was a little overzealous, perhaps, but the bombs drop. The bombs drop, Coming and it's going to be BRN. This floats the rotate. 30 seconds on the clock. By their standards, this is a quick one. Yeah. But HE punishing, but they've got the forward ground. They've got the foothold. The attempted swing in off the flashbang. EG thinks this is a fake. They're not quite fully committing. The bomb's now being planted. It's being tapped at the very least. An exchange here on the oranges. Wiz coming through just in the nick of time to keep his teammate alive. But BRN and Henny, they find the kills. And now it's all on the stand, but there's no time. Six seconds, just enough. MIBR flirting with disaster on that clock again, but Henny will put this one away, and that's going to be... ...saying this, but this... <laughs> yes. This will be our last dust for a good long while. Yes, Walk it will. Find He's given himself the advantage by creating a little more space between himself. I believe that was Turtle. Turtle's going back off, trying to rejoin with Exit. He's in a world of hurt here towards mid, down to 17 HP, and he's going to be surrounded very shortly. Good shot from Turtle, making it viable, but Walco quickly closes the really door. Really tough challenge here on Dust2, and Henny top mid. Is actually checked for. Great awareness for Wiz to recognize that there was still alert to contend with. The second player goes down. Time's going to be short, but they can get a move on. They've got a lot of util actually for this retake and haven't taken out the boundary players. Now this gets real interesting. Big kill for Jota. Giving them something to defend from. Can't take it further, but at least buy some time for his teammates. Time is going to be the biggest ally here. BRN taking the initiative. He's the last one surviving, and he's brought down to a clutch. He knows he just needs the clock. The oh. nade can't finish him. The tap isn't there as well. BRN secures yeah. it. In terms of where he's going to have impact. Wiz? Going to have impact with this one. The big green. He splits three. A no scope to finish BRN. And another hit. Quick on this one. He's going in for more. Wiz doesn't want to slow down. He wants full control here. And he's a... What do you think after time? Ah... Uh. Not really sure. I think they're going to. I don't know if they should. Yeah, no, they're not even going to. Down as well in towards mid. They're going to try and jump. They've got the CC space, but... Well, it's cleaned up quickly. Well done for Wiz. Looking for more. Scout coming around with a boost up from Exit. That's good. Now the gate's open. The gate's open. And they're trying to run on through oh. George. That was disgusting. The Molotov... Yes will burn Henny alive as well. He'll survive, but exit the position again towards CT. This is huge! And George has been lost. In the meantime, it's rush out towards Long. It's three to find. Disaster strikes. And the tag already in. Rush. They just need to push him off. They 
just need to finish him off. Chat, they see him go for the jump. They can't quite connect. Nick's been a movement. Rush, is he just going to back away? He's trying to stick around and he just didn't have to help. Actually designed to set up Turtle's peak. Three smoke in from the CT side. Uh, he flashed out. That's ambitious. That was bold. Oh, the bomb here in the hands of Jota. Yes, be careful. Doesn't want to stick around for too long. You lose that bomb in long doors and you're in a heap of trouble. Molotov gets thrown in. Still waiting for a peek to come through. And okay, credit to Jota. Wins the duel. But on the other side of the map, BRN is going to go down. Looking yeah, to gain contact. some... Ways to play off of him. The peek it off the flash. And exit ooh, is ooh. so good on the entries. That is just rude exit. Kicks down the door unannounced. Bomb gonna go down. Do they really want to attempt this now for the evil geniuses? They're in a tough position. They've got no control towards the catwalk. Yeah, they're gonna back away. You wow. just can't risk this retake here, John. That is a huge win for MIBR. It looked so good for EG too, right? They had two players towards Cad, and then exit's like, okay, I'm just gonna throw a punch. Where's was even a little more aggro on he this? Was. Yeah. George is totally alone here. Oh, the timing. Support in towards mid, perhaps. He keeps those flashes. They know he's here. Utility's great. Walco catches his teammate a little bit of a break. And actually, they're making something of this. The dynamic duo give their teammates a chance now in the retake and advantage. At that, the bomb will need to be planted. And he will post up. And how do EG want to approach this retake? Eventually, the bomb will be planted. Jota, come on, man. This Stop is... with the fake, Jota. Let's go. <laughs> plant the bomb. Pros don't fake. <laughs> he, he never wants to actually plant the dang thing. All right. Surely this time. Oh. Jota! Oh. Oh. <laughs> You're killing me. Hey, you thought? You thought he would. You thought he would do it. All right, but surely this time. Though. <laughs> All right, this time he actually plants. He said to do two or three or six fakes real quick. He'll find the first kill. Why not? But the response is a cacophony of frags. Two coming in. Complete another round. They're going to throw another one soon. But Wiz repositions and no Molotov. He's expecting it. Gets a free shot, Mike. Turtle down. Smoke's now down. He can get out of it. That Molly actually just oh. does go straight into the smoke. Second should apply a bit more pressure. Wiz, he's burning. He's burning. And he is going to give himself up to the flames. Call of the Fire proves too strong. So now with Henny in control of Long, undisputed king here of the scope. George still in towards mid. This A site take is about to get going. Stanislaw has his work cut out for it. It's been a quiet dust too. Now they need him to make some noise. Shota already in towards mid. I don't know that that's going to be expected. My VR have had some good control here, but Shota gets that kill in the follow up as well. The flashbang were merciless. Rush and Stan had no chance. The bomb is down. The save is called. MIBR have found their answer. Feels like all the problems are when MIBR tries to go to the B site. The A site is near flawless. These two <laughs> guys on B, they're all right. Yeah. Yeah. Walco and George, they're the ones making noise right now. Everyone else. Not as much. It's been punishing. I mean, losing that long yeah. fight, it makes it it makes it tough to defend, right? And the flashback, the utility usage there was just great. I might be hard. Didn't give them a chance to respond. Jota with the push through smoke, and then the flash is just punishing, punishing. So, one last round in this half. Wounded, Olympus. Is a prime scenario for the Brazilian squad. They want to finish it here. They want to defend their honor. They want to take another Challenger League title to pair with Season 40. Yep. Season 40, a lot more dominant in the regular season. 4.7-0. This time it's 4-3 and three in regular season, but that doesn't matter. If you make it to the Grand Finals and take it all... All that matters rush. is the dub at the end. Yeah. Two kills in towards mid, but... Swift one on the site gives them a chance here. Exit has to go for the reload, but he's got teammates close at hand. Calm That's down. the bomb lost. They've got the players on A, but what are you going to do? Wiz needs to try some heroics here. Three targets to find, and if this pistol round goes against them, ooh, the opportunities get that much more dire.
Wiz just begging them to fight. Just begging them, give me a beat, give me a fight, overextend. But this is not the MIBR we've come to know over the course of these playoffs. They're not overextending. They're showing patience at every turn. Calm, mm -hmm. cool, collected. They're defining traits. And Wiz, he's going to find himself peeking in to a nice little double array of USPs. Needs to be perfect. Not impossible on the pistol round. Wiz chooses to go into window. They're not looking here. They're expecting a double doors peak. See and him. Oh, nice shot. There we go. 18 Certainly seconds. Now. Snappy with the USPs, Wiz. He's got time. He's going to commit to the plant. That's money at the very least secured. Reload off, but no, the flashbang what doesn't bloom. He was trying to find some info, trying to find some space, and Turtle just runs him down. But... He made the right call. Sorry, Mike. Oh, go ahead, John. I was just going to say was... a bomb plant at least. Yeah, exactly. He made the right call, went to Wind Room, gets the 2K, and finds himself a bomb plant. That's 800. Look at this aggression. Oh, there's a little bit of greatness. Rush ringing the bell. I'll go, taken back in turn, and well, MIBR wants a heavy face here. Wiz has slipped up onto Catwalk. Was this hurt? I don't think so. He's even reloading and jumping. Now they definitely are going to know. Yeah, the nade gave him away. Certainly, if, if everything else didn't, the nade certainly does. Pressure on with the ball top, going to force him forward, but Wiz is up for it. Diamonds are made under pressure, and that's what Wiz is trying to do. And in the meantime, George has just walked on towards the site. Yeah. So... With the adjustment out towards Long to try and deal with Wiz, that's where they assume the bomb is going. They're incorrect. It's all Why? about exit here. Why is Stan hesitating? He's wary of the player in towards tunnels. Yeah, I, I actually get that, but at the same time, okay, now you have to go. I mean, Henny has uh, been taken down by George. But look, exits close the gap. Oh, no! Drops no! Down. There's time, there's time, there's Stan time. goes down. There's time, John. There's 40 time. seconds here, but two isolated fights. Shota, does he still know that Wiz is sticking around here in towards CT? He may not have, but he's snappy on the response. Great kill coming through, yeah. and now everything on to George. He has to battle back in. He knows these players are isolated at the very least, but it's a very unfavorable fight. He's running out of time. He's running out of clock. He's got the one, but does he know a player's in towards the site? He has to go. He has to go, and it's all about Jota, who's just going to try and sell it like he's not even here. Kill comes through. The round denied. Really? It just feels like, I don't know, they're just stunned. Trying to go towards mid. Not a bad idea. Henny, despite the fact he was blinded, the timing was good. BRN comes around the corner to get one, but George is going to trade him out. 4v4, even numbers. EG have the presence towards mid. No one really there to defend, and only one player on the B site. Smoke for mid to B. It would be the correct call here. Exit. Peeking around. Oh, this play from CT. Shota. Oh, and he can't capitalize. George takes him down. A lot of health loss. Now it's all exit. And he gets one, two, maybe the third. No. Shut down. But exit almost the hero again. Still a 2v2 and viable for MIBR on the retake. Absolutely is. Absolutely is. And this time they're going to commit. Server to play. Oh, not turtle. to be seen. Ooh. Turtle does nade himself. That's a little awkward. And is that enough to actually chase them off to back them out of here <laughs> Maybe. i think it is turtles like you know what bad omen bad omen feng shui's off we're out of here or are it's, they gonna go tons maybe? it's a good call for mibr to be yeah. quite frank right you're playing the long game here it's not about this round it's about the whole thing throwing away these guns means it's gonna be tougher you're gonna allow eg in you're gonna take some of that pressure off so they'll go ahead and try and keep these players contained in towards sight yep and if Turtle can get it, there's the first one found. Good luck, Wiz. This is done. Good luck. Can he, he, I think he can save one. Yeah, he can. Here for MIPR. They got a lot of bodies on this. So on early. Pressure on, and Turtle finds the first. Walco. He's going to be able to trade it back. Well played from the blue dumpster, but now they know he's kind of stuck. Utility sailing over Walco, taking the brunt of that HE. And on the smoke fade in mid, BRN. Players just on the other side. Wiz on the Xbox. Everything. Wiz has got it. Wiz has got it. Jota coming back into the fight. Overwhelmed here. An advantage massively in favor of the evil geniuses. Exit wants Exit to make the hero play. Through? Oh my goodness. Walco hasn't seen him. 
That's one. That's two. Exit can't quite find the third, but he sets up Henny with a possibility. Rush, though, finding the vacant site means... It's a... Well, they can rotate, and Henny will likely just try and keep this op alive. Retaking with it, not an appetizing prospect. Yeah. What an effort by Exit again. Yeah, dude. Man. Has he been good or what? It's, uh, he can taste victory. He can take the championship, and Exit is having the game of his life right now. Monstrous showing. Now, Molly better land the right spot, because he's not likely to be blind. Smoke's over. And the flank! Oh, the flank! That the drops bomb? the bomb! It's just a USP, but now... Now it's chaos. They drop the player down towards ramp, but Jolta comes through the smoke How at just the right the moment of time. Now they're distracted. They're focused in towards CT. The guns can be picked up. The peek back in, though, that's bad. That's faulty. It still comes down to a 1v2, and George knows. They're forcing the issue. They're pulling him off the plant, and in the air, Jolta will no. lay him low. Series point. League. Evil geniuses leaning heavily towards the B site, and it's Sight's vacated. Open. No Sight's one's open. here. The push in the tunnel is huge, though. And Walko's going to get caught. There's no way he would expect this whiz. Potentially to follow. Now lost the sight. The bomb is going down, and that's unexpected. MIBR did not realize they were already in. Now, chaos. Rush is coming back in. They're trying to chase in towards Wiz. Wiz gets an upgrade. And this run is looking like a non starter here. Fiddle with that kill. That might propel them on forward. Bringing in a play from as well. But Rush, uh -oh. no, cleaned up in the corner. He dodged the flash, but not the bullets. And this could be it. Turtle stepping forward in the big moment. He's been laid low. His teammates will need to do the work. Jota under pressure. Henny trying to get back through. The bullets are good. Henny even has a nade. Time. The HE will finish this off. But you're right. Time is of the essence. And George somehow lives. One HP dodging that last bullet. That last piece of shrapnel this round is going the way of EG. They're not laying down just yet. Yes. <laughs> Bjarin's That's taking control in towards Thomas, yep. though. So at what point do they get the tip off? Walco has got the bomb, too. Oh, oh no. Get spicy. He's a low HP player. Here's the timing. No one's watching for the tunnels. Push. There's the drop. There's the damage. Now BRN knows he just needs to back away. He's put the threat in their mind. He's found the damage. He's found the advantage. At least the bomb survives, but a desperate drop in towards CT. There's only 20 seconds yep. left on the clock, John, and it's a 2v5. Disaster has struck for the evil geniuses. They've got no path through to this. This is looking like M. I B R are the champions of season 43. Wow, uh, what a performance from MIB.